Right now at 530, we are tracking the tropics, and this is a system we will need to pay close attention to for the remainder of this week. Potential tropical cyclone nine. CBS 4 meteorologist Craig Setzer is tracking it for us, and we're all practicing the name Isaias, right, Craig? Exactly, Isaias, with the emphasis on the second E. Uh, yeah, that's right. And the latest advisory is at 5 o'clock. And by the way, I'm working from my desk here. This is where I'm now living because I am working from home. You can see the green screen, which is where I stand in front of to do the weather cast, and then my living room literally right behind me. But the latest on uh, potential Isaias, uh, still a potential tropical storm, winds at 45 miles an hour and moving to the west-northwest. That's a fast clip at 23 miles an hour. It is expected to slow down by the time it gets closer to us. Now here is the, uh, the graphic that we've been showing you a lot and talking about and excited to show you because it shows the extent of the storm there and you can see the future track there. There's the cone. Remember we always talk about the center is expected to stay in the cone but the weather extends out of it. Well this graphic shows the weather extending outside of the cone. That's the tropical storm conditions. There we go into our Thursday time frame. Of course crossing Hispaniola is going to be a big deal. There we are Friday afternoon now in the straits and really how strong or how long the system lasts over the straits uh, is going to be a big player as to how strong it gets when it gets to Florida. We are once again right there in the middle of the cone which tracks where the center is expected to be and you can see tropical storm force winds coming up into South Florida during the day and then the uh, storm forecast uh, moved to the north. Now, of course, you can track a track uh, a little bit more to the left or a little bit more to the right here, but still, most of the models have been shifting back and forth just a little bit. And guys, that, uh, that's that windshield wiper effect we talk about that sometimes uh, we see and we just kind of have to take an average of it. All right, Craig, so still a lot of uncertainty here. What will you be watching over for the next 24 hours? Well, there's two big things that I'm going to be watching closely. It's where that starting point is because we really still don't have an idea. Uh, we've got this estimated start position there, and that's really where the models go from is that estimated start position beginning there. So the, all the tracks kind of emanate from that start point. But if the center is uh, forms up here or something, that's going to be a big concern because then the tracks go off and they miss Hispaniola there. Here's the, uh, here's the reason that this, this mountainous island here is such a big deal. The peak there, Duarte, is 10,000 feet, and that's quite disruptive to uh, a tropical cyclone to the circulation center inside of it. So that's the time frame there on Thursday. It's going to be crossing the island, and then after that, uh, where it is uh, emerging. That's what we'll have to be watching closely as it moves on to the northwest there because these tracks could shift substantially if that starting position is different, and we should know more in that starting position. That's going to be probably in the time frame of... Uh, I would say either tonight or tomorrow, and then what it does after that will be really important. So the next 24 to 36 hours, crucial. All right, so we have time on our side right now. What should we be thinking about and doing right now, Craig? Well, we've been talking about, we always plan for uh, what we expect to come, but then plan for the possibility of one category higher. So if it's a category two forecast, we plan for category three. In this case, it's a tropical storm forecast. So we think about the possibility of a hurricane. Now we're planning for power outages. That's a distinct possibility. So we're gonna wanna check generators, flashlights, batteries, things like that. Uh, you might wanna freeze bottled water in your freezer now. Uh, just get everything nice and cold. A wind issue, so anything blow around we're going to want to secure that and that by Friday night and shutters I still don't think it's a shutter event we might not know until Friday morning but then if we do have to put up shutters at the last minute it's going to be a Friday event but right now I just don't think so yeah we got to watch it closely a lot of people are home right now and these are things that you're going to need anyway you know water and batteries uh, they're not going to go to waste Craig thanks a lot right exactly